Hi, this is Inverse Psychology Goes Camping. Here we have a Kendrick. Ta-da! Wait, wait, what, where? Ow! <laughs> That's Derek. There's too much stuff in this car. We just went and uh, spent entirely too much money on supplies. How the crap did we spend 96 We just went camping. <laughs> that's, no. that's camping, right guys? No, Kendrick, camping isn't just spending a lot of money on worthless crap. You take the worthless crap out into the woods and proceed not to use it. Oh, we call that pulling the dumb guy back where I come from. How fast have you been driving? Uh, well, I noticed right when you were behind me, it was about 78. Okay. So we're about five minutes into the trip right now, <clears throat> and uh, we've already been pulled over. Coming up next, inverse psychology goes to court. Six minutes into the trip, and we're lost. So yeah, let's get on 29 and take it to 879. 29 South. Sure, anyone lives here. Well, actually, oh, there's a bar. Okay, we That's saw all this some town people. has is two bars. Here's that. They have a booming fire industry, apparently. Does this place actually exist? Now, according to Kendrick, place. half the fun is this bar. <laughs> Things still stand. So that was half the fun. Here we go, Indian caves. It does exist. It does exist. The office is closed. So we have to self-register, which is over here, apparently. Derek, why don't you go see if anybody's up there that just closed the door and turned the lights off the left? The firewood shed is over here. It appears to be locked. Here's our fire. Hmm. This is some bug spray, and you see, when we come into nature, we come to be one with nature. And by that I mean kill as much nature as we possibly can. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill some bugs. The legend goes that old man McGee would hold a flashlight up to his face and say, the legend goes. It is currently 7.15 in the morning, even though they started across the tent from each other. We all know that they end up together. Good morning. My shoes are over there. Because they're soaking wet. And in the bathroom, there's a heater chain to a pole. And right here, we've got a uh, fire pit going. Well, time to sit here and grow some beards. Find out if there's a beggar in the woods. Rawr. There's a bear over here, apparently. I'm bear. Don't look at me. Fish all are not to be had. Got one fish. I guess we'll be eating Doritos for lunch. Wait, I got something. It's the rest of my fishing pole there. So far, my goal has been that boot that Ben insists on is a stick. I'm casting a lot. Not casting lots, but I'm casting a lot. Why don't you walk us? Well, I paid for what I got. Wait, I know what the problem is. Nobody's throwing sticks in the water. <laughs> now we're cooking. How many done fish you caught today, dear? Well, Buck, I caught. Three. Three? Count, counting them imaginary ones. Oh yeah! How many of them were imaginary? Three. I'm digging for worms. 
Cool. Find any worms there, dear? Not in this one spot. Hey, dear. Yeah, bud. Do worms live in the USA? Yes, bud. That's where we are, right? Yes, bud. So there should be worms here. Yes, Keep digging. Hey, you, if you call now and you are the 20th caller, we're going to ask you how you beat the other 19. We're going to ask you how you managed to find a phone number to the river. Yeah, how do you find a river <laughs> after the train? Um, I might be going out on a limb here. But I don't think there's any fish in this here river. Unfortunately, the fish has uh, caught on to my trickery and it won't bite. I think it's partially because I actually threaded this thing backwards. So it looks like the worm thingy is swimming backwards. And the fish sees that and it goes, ain't no way that's a real worm. That thing's fish swimming backwards. Also, I've never seen a worm that could swim. I'm gonna try a new way of casting. Okay, be careful. Nope. How long till we can go do something else? 